the media and the left have lost their ever-loving minds. Hey everybody, it's Maggie here from Political View. So, we had the Mad Bomber last week that was located and come to find out everybody saying he's a Trump supporter. Uh, based on what his vehicle looks like and who he was sending things out to according to the media, Trump's hit list. And then this past weekend we had a tragedy down in Pittsburgh with a synagogue uh, being shot up and 11 people killed and uh, police officers injured as well as the suspect being injured uh, and as while they were trying to take him into custody. The media has jumped on a bandwagon to get this to be politicized. Uh, which I find is absolutely disgusting. This is a tragedy that you're turning into an anti-Trump agenda and he has every right to take the media to task. If people are that pathetic, they are believing everything the media has to say in regards to this and how they're hyping it up as Trump's fault, Trump needs to fix it, Trump, what, is, what do you have to say, Mr. President? This is what I have to say. You may not be the enemy of the people, but you damn well are the enemy of the truth. You wouldn't know the truth if it walked up to you naked, wearing nothing but a tea cozy and did a pole dance. You wouldn't know. Uh, people like Brian Stelter, Chris Cuomo, uh, everybody pretty much from MSNBC and CNN, you're disgusting. You're absolutely disgusting and this kind of rhetoric and you can't see that you're doing it because you're so used to doing it is causing a division in this country and we don't need to be divided because this is what happens when we are divided as a society and most of the people I know who are anti-semitic are democrats because when you get away from God you lose a bit of yourself I am not an overly religious person, but even I can understand that. I don't respect anybody who is part of Farrakhan's church. I don't respect Farrakhan, who's a big fat racist in my opinion. I don't respect Linda Sarsour, who's a big fat racist in my opinion as well. And anybody who kisses her ever-loving backside. If you have Linda Sarsour on your political... Um, going out there on your tour for politics for your state let alone for the national level you are disgusting you are the lowest of the low and you deserve to lose your seat you don't deserve to be in the senate you don't deserve to be in the house you don't deserve to be a governor you don't deserve to be a legislator of any kind you are disgusting and slime and you deserve to lose your seat. And what people need to do is they need to stand up and they need to say, we are not going to take this anymore and we need to vote people out who use this as political fodder. We need to tell the media we are not going to accept it anymore. They need to stop taking tragedies and using it as this is Trump's fault. This is not Trump's fault. This is some psycho who has issues. He doesn't even like Trump. And that's something the media is not reporting. He loathes him. He's a sellout. He's a globalist. His daughter's a Jewish person. He does not like Trump. And then that's what they're going to hide from us. And people who are dumb enough to not to actually do the research themselves deserve the uh, title of dunce. I don't take anything that Fox News takes, tells me as face value. I read. I look. I check with NBC. I check with CNN. God, how I hate CNN. But I look and see what they have to say. I look at our local newspapers. I try to find out as much information to draw a intelligent conclusion from. So what we as a society need to do is not sit there and say we're Democrat, Republic, Independent, Conservative, Leftist, Libertarian, whatever. We are Americans and as Americans we should not tolerate any type of behavior like this. So this is my thoughts. This is again Maggie from Political View. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.